Today, we're going to Valladolid. <laughs> I'm told that's not how you say it. How do we say Valladolid? What's the right way to say it? Valladolid. Valladolid. Valladolid? That's it. Now we know. Valladolid is a small town that's located just two hours from Cancun. It's part of a program called Pueblos Magicos. This program was launched in 2001 in Mexico to promote cities around the country that stood out either by their natural beauty, their history, their culture, and well, Valladolid is part of that list. So we're gonna go ahead and see what the hype is all about. My friend Maud. Hello. Hi Maud. Maud is a travel blogger by the way. Maud and I went to journalism school together in university just a few years ago. Barely. <laughs> All right, where are we going? Left. Let's go there. Good. This is why I brought her. <laughs> <laughs> She's better with the maps and directions than I am, that's for sure. Cenotes, it's called Cenote Zassi or Zaki. I'm not sure, I have to check the pronunciation. Um, but this is right in the middle of Valladolid. Check it out. What's great about this cenote is that it's in a Mexican style clubhouse. So that means you can come here and spend a few hours. You can have something to eat at the bar, there's a little restaurant, there's even a pool, and there's different packages that you can pay. If you just want to enjoy the cenote, it's 70 pesos, uh, but you can also take the cenote plus food and drinks and cenote plus food and drinks plus pool, and so it can be a nice way to spend the afternoon. We're gonna try and go for a swim. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> Let's go! amazing it looks so beautiful in there if you get a chance just make sure that you float on your back and look up it's really really nice there's some little fish that you'll see swimming in the water and the water is very clear so you'll see the fish quite well I think it's catfish um, but don't worry they won't touch you I was really afraid they would the water is cold but refreshing cold not like ice cold there's just one thing everything is just so wet like everything is dripping everywhere all the time like even I was taking pictures and, and videos with my phone and like a drop would just like smack my phone from the middle of nowhere one thing I would do maybe differently is go in the morning there was a lot of people this afternoon and we're told that the cenotes are a lot less crowded at the beginning of the day so I would do this at the beginning of the day and then walk around downtown in the afternoon but overall great experience Arepita de canela. Todos son dulces. Son dulces, todos son dulces. Igual tenemos dulce de coco, igual es tradicional aquí, dulce de pepita y dulce de cacahuate. Todo eso nosotros lo elaboramos. Igual tenemos este, el marshmallow, suncho. Nosotros le llamamos suncho. Hay muchos um, pepitos. 
Pepita. Sí. O pepita. Mucha pepita, porque aquí es lo tradicional es la pepita de calabaza. Así hay en dulce y en salado. Sí, sí es. Muy Ajá, es sí. muy tradicional. Sí, en todo lo que es la casa siempre hay eso. ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Alejandra. Alejandra. Sí. Okay. <risa> Grano de lote, grano de lote en la bolsa, puede ser con mayonesa, crema, queso, en chile. Con todo queda rico, pero es al gusto. El estilo maya, el estilo local es de todo un poco. Ok, todo un poco, todo un poco. Alito, bien, Muchas gracias. Show me, show me. Okay. We've got delicious snacks. We've got testioletos, which is very spicy. Yeah, then we've got churros, which already took a bite out of. Oh. So delicious. And then we've got marquesitas. Marquesitas are typical Yucatan treats, and they're filled with the typical flavor. We took them with Nutella and cheese. Yeah, it sounds weird to me, but we figure we might as well just no, go no. all in. Yeah. And now we have to go because we have a bus to catch back to Cancun and we're going to be late. Bye-bye. Bye, Aduli.